More than 80% of our oceans are unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. In fact, we know more about space than we know about the oceans of our own planet. Much remains to be learned from exploring the mysteries of the deep, and sometimes the deep reveals some of its very well-kept secrets. From a black devil living at the deepest corners of the ocean to a mysterious World War II wreck, here are the 20 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Number 20. Australia's Oldest Submarine Not only was this submarine the oldest, but it's also the first ever Australian submarine that had been lost without a trace for over a century. What a man discovered underwater shocked the whole world. Finally, Australia's oldest naval mystery has been solved. The HMAS AE-1, the first of the two Class E submarines manufactured by the Royal Australian Navy, had disappeared on September 14, 1914 near the Duke of York Islands, with 35 British, Australian, and New Zealand crew members on board. This was the first loss of an Allied submarine during the First World War, and its disappearance constituted the oldest naval mystery in Australian history. The wreck was found at a depth of more than 300 meters in the area of its disappearance by the 13th expedition launched on its trail, with the help of the Fugro Equator, a search ship that Australia also used to try to locate Flight MH370 that disappeared from Malaysia Airlines. The head of the Australian Navy, Vice Admiral Tim Barrett, explained that the wreck, that's what a piece of a shipwreck is called, was located thanks to various technologies such as a magnetometer that measures magnetic disturbances, remote-controlled vehicles, and a deep-sea camera. Camera. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. There have been many sightings of UFOs in history, but they never quite managed to capture unequivocal proof, right? The images are always blurry or too dark. This time, though, the images are quite breathtaking and clear. Two divers decided to go look around a very remote island in the Pacific Ocean. The exact location hasn't been disclosed. They heard the locals talk about something huge under the water that had been there since forever. The bizarre object even appears in their folklore tales that the elderly tell the younger generations. But the tribe is scared to go anywhere near the site. They say the object is evil. But the two divers decided to go anyway, and what they found was mind-blowing. Don't you think this looks exactly like an old alien space shuttle engine? How long has that thing been underwater, and what were they doing here on Earth? And why is the information about it top secret? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. The World's Oldest Underwater Cities this may not be the long-lost city of Atlantis, but the city of Pavlopetri in Greece is pretty damn fascinating. Did you know that a revolution occurred roughly 6,000 years ago in ancient Greece? Well, it seems that revolutions aren't a new thing in history, not by a long shot. But this wasn't a violent revolution like the ones we tend to see now. Back then, they went through an urban revolution, much more productive and much less destructive. Basically, ancient Greeks decided that instead of continuing to form random settlements all over the place, they started to create more structured and planned communities. And this is how cities were born. And in the Greek Peloponnese, you can still see the ruins of a city that's believed to be one of the oldest in human history. Isn't that impressive? And this city was quite advanced, too. They had pipes lining the streets, running water, even a sewage system. The homes of the rich had two stories with roof terraces. I mean, this place was amazing even by today's standards. They had residential neighborhoods with gardens, a harbor with many warehouses, government buildings for administration, and much more. The city of Pavlopetri was able to have all these awesome things because it had a lot of wealth derived from its weaving and pottery industries. It was also an obligatory stop for ships coming and going from Crete. The city eventually sank under the Mediterranean waters, and it was discovered in 1967 by Nicholas Fleming, a famous oceanographer. Number 18. These sea spiders breathe through their legs. 
Meet the spiders that are defying scientific classification and driving scientists a little bit insane. Contrary to their name and appearance, spiders and sea spiders aren't actually related. Sea spiders aren't even arachnids, though they do have a lot in common with the group. They have long legs and a small body, and they inhabit many parts of the world, from New Zealand and the Pacific coast of the United States to the Mediterranean Sea and the Caribbean Sea. They can be found as deep as 23,000 feet, but can also thrive well camouflaged under rocks and algae in estuarine habitats. They are a diverse and interesting bunch, and as a new study reveals, they sometimes breed through their legs. The fundamental constraint that configures animal systems for internal gas transport is the slow rate of diffusion. The problem is, these sea spiders, despite having a heart, do not have any of the classic respiratory structures like gills or lungs. They seem to use their thin and porous external exoskeleton, that is, their legs. They basically use their unusual structure to compensate for their physiological disadvantages. We have lungs, fish have gills, sea spiders have nothing except a lung large surface area. Number 17. Titanic after 110 years in the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, the remains of the Titanic are at risk of facing their last years of existence. According to what was observed after several expeditions, various experts agreed that the structure of the boat is significantly corroded and that its disappearance is only a matter of time. Among the causes of the acceleration of natural decomposition are the numerous visits by treasure hunters and tourists, the overfishing of the area which reduced the number of fish that previously consumed the organic matter that's now concentrated around the Titanic, and, in addition, the presence of a strange bacterium that eats away at the remains. In 2010, a group of specialists from the same institution headed by Henrietta Mann began to investigate this organism and came to the conclusion that it was something unknown to science. So they decided to name the bacterium Halomonas titanicae after the boat. These bacteria do not consume the surface millimeter by millimeter, but rather subject the ship to a kind of pitting that causes the hull to become increasingly unstable and disintegrate. It would be very surprising if there were much standing two decades from now. Number 16. A 13,000-year-old human skull. In May 2007, an expert Venezuelan diver working for National Geographic, Alberto Nava, was exploring a narrow gallery more than a kilometer long with two Mexican colleagues when the narrow tunnel suddenly opened up into a large, completely dark chamber that they couldn't even fully explore with the illumination that they were currently wearing. Two months later, Nava and his collaborators returned to the same place equipped with powerful lights to explore that place that they had already nicknamed Hoyo Negro. What they found was an impressive bell-shaped chamber some 60 meters in diameter. But although his intention was only to explore the geology of the place, the discovery did not stop there. While studying the site, the divers began to see a lot of bones of large mammals. Suddenly, they saw a human skull on a small ledge. It was placed upside down, showing a perfect set of teeth and with the dark sockets of the eyes looking towards them. After years of work since then, an international scientific team of anthropologists, geneticists, archaeologists, geologists, and even experts in dating remains, in addition to Nava himself, have come to the conclusion that the skull and the bones of the same skeleton that were around it belong to a 15 or 16 year old girl who died in that cenote between 12,000 and 13,000 years ago. That teenager, whom researchers named Naya, has closed the debate on how the humanization of America was and has allowed an old unanswered question to be answered. Who were the first Americans? DNA analysis confirms the link between early and modern Americans. The skull suggests that the differences between the two groups are the result of in situ evolution rather than the consequence of separate migrations from different parts of the old world. Number 15. World's Largest Deep Sea Octopus's Nursery Deep sea creatures are laying their eggs on the Davidson Seamount. When researchers aboard the Nautilus exploration ship spot a new squid or octopus, they can make the internet boil. But recently, the research vessel, which broadcasts many of its discoveries live, hit the eight-legged jackpot during an exploration of the Davidson Seamount off the coast of Monterey, California. Their ROVs not only captured images of a super cute Dumbo octopus, they also found something truly spectacular, a breeding colony of 1,000 
rare deep-sea octopuses. Davidson Seamount within the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary is essentially a seamount jutting out 7,480 feet from the ocean floor. The huge structure is 42 kilometers long and 13 kilometers wide. Still, the summit is submerged in 4,100 feet of water, making it quite difficult to study. According to Nautilus, the seamount and the region around it have been extensively mapped before, and the ship visited the seamount 12 years ago. However, there is, on the southeast side of the mountain, a previously less explored deep water region of basaltic reef that the team decided to focus on this time. What they found at the end of the 35-hour exploration was the unprecedented colony of Musoctopus robustus, a deep-sea purple octopus species. Number 14. Military Tanks World War II has given us some interesting wrecks, but the most unusual may very well be the ones found beneath Pool Bay. Pool Bay is located on the southern coast of the county of Dorset in the English Channel. Relatively shallow, it stretches from Pool Harbor in the west to Hengetsbury Head in the east. As this location is underwater, you would expect to find some ship or submarine wrecks, right? Wrong. What you can find at Pool Bay are actually a squadron of armored tanks. The question begs to be asked, how on earth did they get there? Were they dumped there as part of an artificial reef project? Well, it would seem that the history of the amphibious duplex drive Valentine's tanks is top secret, and so nobody knows why or how they got there. And whoever wants to find out should go visit the seven tanks as soon as possible, as their fight against the elements is getting close to its end. Soon, the distinctive shape of the tanks will collapse into an unrecognizable pile of rusting metal bits. But rumor has it, the story of the Valentine tanks started when Nicholas Straussler, a Hungarian-born engineer from London, came up with the crazy idea of how to float the 17.5-ton war machines. He wanted to use the Archimedes principle as a basis, but as you can very well guess, it didn't go as planned. Number 13. Turtle Graveyard this spooky video shows a bizarre turtle graveyard at the bottom of an ocean cave. It all started in the early 1980s when famed ocean explorer Captain Jacques-Yves Cousteau and his team paid a visit to Sipadan Island off the coast of Borneo to film a documentary about its pristine waters. One of the highlights of that movie was the mysterious underwater cave where they found a lot of bones and skeletons of sea turtles. For lack of a better explanation, Cousteau suggested that perhaps the old sea turtles were simply going there to die peacefully, but the reality is far more grim. The turtles enter the cave by accident and then get lost in the maze of tunnels. Unable to find a way out, they eventually become disoriented and drown. Sipadan Island was formed by living corals that grew on top of an extinct volcanic cone that took thousands of years to develop, right in the heart of the Indo-Pacific Basin, one of the richest marine habitats in the world. The entrance to the turtle cavern is on the side of a large limestone wall that starts a few meters below the surface and moves down to a depth of about 600 meters. The mouth of the cave is located at a depth of 20 meters from the surface. A large sign near the entrance warns inexperienced divers not to enter without the proper equipment or experience. Number 12. Alien-like creature. This insane and bizarre footage will make you question your stance on extraterrestrial life. A strange creature that transforms underwater was caught on camera. The video was uploaded to a YouTube channel, Captain JRD, and it was caught by a remotely operated vehicle at a depth of 3,753 feet in the Indian Ocean at the east coast of Africa. The uploader claims that the video has not been altered in any shape or form. But what is it exactly? At the beginning, it looks like a Star Wars spaceship delicately floating in the water. Water, but then, it completely changes its appearance and transforms into a dark-colored deep-sea creature with multicolor lights traveling through its body. Could this be a shape-shifting extraterrestrial ship? Toward the end of the footage, the unidentified object or creature can be seen getting caught on the output from the ROV thrusters and getting ripped apart. Could this be an unknown species of squid, or proof that aliens really do live among us? Number 11. Ocean Vents Deep in the Earth's seas, there are vents where seawater comes into contact with minerals from the planet's crust, reacting to create a warm, alkaline environment that contains hydrogen. The process creates mineral-rich vents with alkaline and acidic fluids, providing an energy source that facilitates chemical reactions between hydrogen and carbon dioxide to form increasingly complex organic compounds. A hydrothermal source can be defined as a crack that occurs in the Earth's surface through which hot or geothermal seawater emerges. This type of phenomenon 
phenomenon occurs in areas close to the place where there is volcanic activity. The magma or lava is much closer to the surface of our planet and therefore causes the heating of the water. We can find different types of hydrothermal sources depending on where they form, and scientists now believe that life may have originated from deep sea hydrothermal vents rather than shallow pools like previously thought. A new study published in Nature Ecology and Evolution finds that heat and alkalinity could not only be acceptable but necessary to start life. There are multiple competing theories about where and how life began. Underwater hydrothermal vents are among the most promising places for life's beginnings. Our findings now add weight to that theory with strong experimental evidence. Number 10. Apollo Moon Rocket Engines We've heard a lot of controversial stuff coming from Jeff Bezos' way the last few years, but I bet not a lot of people remember when he decided to go look at the bottom of the ocean looking for things. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, has a curious hobby that you may not know about – recovering lost items. But not just any items, something as historic and symbolic as the F-1 engines that took Apollo 11 to the moon. His foundation, together with NASA, announced that they have recovered from the bottom of the Atlantic several of the five F-1 engines that powered the rocket Saturn V, which in turn took Apollo and Neil Armstrong to the moon in the historical landing that took humanity to the moon for the very first time. The engines had been at the bottom of the ocean since 1969, almost 5 kilometers deep. They basically powered the Saturn V rocket in what was the first phase of the launch, and they were gigantic, more than 3.5 meters in diameter and almost 6 meters high each. An incredible piece of history now in the hands of the founder of Amazon. I guess being the the richest man in the world means you can have any hobby you want. Number 9. 1,600 year old Roman cargo found off Israel's coast. An underwater survey in the ancient port of Caesarea has uncovered thousands of coins and bronze statues dating back to the 5th century AD. The two sport divers may have made their biggest catch ever when they made a chance discovery of two late Roman bronze statues in the ancient port. The seabed had been cleaned of sand and a maze of iron anchors, mooring chains, and debris were exposed. The cache of treasure belonged to a late Roman merchant ship that sank in the harbor some 1600 years ago. Many of the artifacts are made of bronze and are in an extraordinary state of preservation. A bronze lamp representing the image of the sun god, a figure of the moon goddess, a lamp with the image of the head of an African slave, fragments of three life-size cast bronze statues, animal-shaped objects such as a whale, a bronze griffin in the shape of a boar with a swan on its head, it goes on and on. A marine assemblage like this has not been found in Israel in the last 30 years. Metal statues are rare archaeological finds because they were always melted down and recycled in ancient times to make weapons when needed. When we find bronze artifacts, it usually happens in the sea. Because these statues were shipwrecked along with the ship, they sank in the water and were therefore saved from the recycling process. Number 8. Terrifying Underwater Base Jump Quadruple freediving world champion able to hold his breath for 7 minutes and 42 seconds, Guillaume Neri has made his discipline a way of life. Neri is a two-time freediving world champion in constant weight. He broke the world record four times, the last of which at a depth of minus 126 meters. Apnea in constant weight consists in descending and ascending with the same ballast and with the sole force of one's legs. In 2015, he stopped competing following an accident while trying to break the world record again again at minus 129 meters. Since then, he has devoted himself to promoting freediving and his passion for the sea by participating in film shoots. Located in the Bahamas on Long Island, Dean's Blue Hole is the deepest in the world, 202 meters deep. This place is ranked among the most beautiful sights on the planet. It's also the ideal place for professional divers to break world records. Here's a video showing the French freediver filmed by Julie Gautier. He performed a free fall without fins into Dean's blue hole, weighted down only by a weight belt. Now, of course, this magnificent place, adored by diving enthusiasts, is not without danger. Divers can be victims of the drunkenness of the depths, a state that causes euphoria or, on the contrary, anxiety attacks, vision problems, or the feeling of being caught up in the bottom. Number 7. Flying Spaghetti Monster what on earth is a flying spaghetti monster, you're probably asking yourself? Well, it is, in fact, a deity. It all began as a parody religion and grew into a social movement. 
The adherents, who call themselves Pastafarians, purportedly number in the tens of thousands and are primarily located in Western countries. The flying spaghetti monster, which is said to be invisible, is depicted as a floating mass of spaghetti noodles with a large meatball on either side of its body and two centrally located eye stalks. Well, all the Pastafarians have recently lost their noodles when this video surfaced on the internet. A group of scientists at the UK's National Oceanography Center released the rare footage of what looks exactly like the elusive flying spaghetti monster. The deep sea creature was later identified as a siphonophore, and it was floating at about 1,325 meters underwater off the coast of Angola in southern Africa. Siphonophores reaching up to 40 meters long have been observed, making them the world's longest animal. They belong to a group of animals that include jellyfish and coral. They are made up of a tightly knit colony of organisms that grow in number by cloning themselves. Isn't that cool? Number 6. Pirate Ships In April 1717, a pirate ship sank off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Today, the remains of the Waida are part of a museum, the only one to present authentic treasures from the golden age of piracy. After being caught in a violent storm in the Atlantic, the unearthed remains of seven pirates were found. The captain of the ship, Samuel Bellamy, nicknamed Black Sam, was already identified in 2018, thanks to a blood descendant who lives in England. The ship was initially built for the slave trade, and it remains, to this day, the only fully authenticated Golden Age of Piracy shipwreck ever discovered. The Wida Galley, about 35 meters long and weighing 300 tons, was hijacked during her maiden voyage shortly after leaving Jamaica. Its captain and crew used her to pirate other ships before sailing north to the coast of Wellfleet, Massachusetts, where Bellamy's mistress, Maria Hallett, is believed to have been waiting for him but the Wida Galley never reached her destination. According to legend, the crew was too drunk to finish the voyage, and the ship collided with a mighty nor'easter. Winds of up to 70 miles per hour churned up the sea, causing tidal waves. Although they were within sight of land, the crew was unable to navigate the storm and slammed her stern into a sandbank. Number 5. Faceless Fish a group of Australian researchers has found wonderful, rare, and even monstrous creatures in the depths of the ocean. The expedition set out to study the total darkness of the sea floor with cameras and sonar. The area surveyed is the one framed between Tasmania and Queensland at a depth of 4,000 meters. Chimeras, blind spiders, abyssal fish of the Shaughnessy family, the expedition has found a great variety of species. The most impressive encounter, though, has to be that of a fish that gives the impression of being devoid of a face. The animal was already well known, but none of its kind had been observed since 1873. It has no eyes, and its mouth is underneath. At such depths, the darkness is total, and some of the creatures that live there have no eyes because, well, they have no need for them. Others even emit their own light, says the researcher. Working in such an environment is a technical and technological challenge. It takes seven hours to install and assemble the equipment alone, which is connected to the ship through eight kilometers of cables. The data collected will improve knowledge and understanding of deep sea habitats, biodiversity, and the pressure exerted on them. Number 4. Trains A group of researchers has discovered two steam locomotives from before the Civil War on the coast of the United States. The discovery has puzzled the scientific community, and not only because the machines were in the middle of the sea route, but because they seem more powerful and heavier than their contemporaries, and there's no record that can provide clues about their construction. The trains were found five miles off the coast of New Jersey, and their presence on the sea floor is a puzzling mystery to researchers. How did two pre-Civil War engines end up there? Did they fall off a sailboat during a storm? Were they deliberately thrown into the abyss? Dan Lieb, a technical illustrator, diver, and a member of the Philadelphia chapter of the Explorers Club, almost accidentally stumbled upon the unmistakable wreckage of the two locomotives while surveying the emerald waters off Long Beach, New Jersey. During one of his usual dives, two huge silhouettes placed next to each other at about 90 meters deep caught his attention. The objects had marine fouling, but Lieb recognized the unmistakable lines, wheels, and boilers of two identical locomotives, 160 years after they fell or were thrown overboard. Number 3. Giant Jellyfish the Size of a Human 
A giant jellyfish was spotted in the waters off the south coast of Cornwall, England on July 13, 2019. This amazing find comes to us thanks to biologist Lizzie Daly and wildlife photographer Dan Abbott. In the video, you can clearly see the gigantic jellyfish peacefully floating in the waters of Falmouth Bay in the southeast of England. The massive jellyfish is a meter and a half long and is known as a barrel jellyfish, with which they spent 25 minutes recording it and taking pictures of it. These barrel jellyfish move towards warmer waters, so it's very likely that the animal was in the middle of its journey from the cold waters of the British coast to the Mediterranean. This type of jellyfish, according to experts, is not very dangerous for humans, since its poison isn't very powerful. So if someone were to be attacked, the only thing it could cause would be skin discomfort. Although these aquatic animals can bite, even when dead. To date, it is the largest jellyfish that divers have ever seen, since at most they have found one that reached half a meter in length. According to experts, this type of barrel jellyfish can measure up to 90 centimeters and weigh up to 35 kilos. Number 2. Boeing B-17 – Calvi's Infamous Underwater Airplane Wreck the Boeing Flying Fortress, also known as B-17, has been resting since February 14, 1944 at a depth of 28 meters at the foot of the Citadel of Calvi. With its four engines still in place and its 32-meter wingspan, the American bomber impresses when seen in clear water, lying flat on the sand. It is the flagship dive of the capital of Bologna and one of the most visited wrecks in Corsica. On February 14, 1944, the squadron was to bomb the marshalling yard in Verona, Italy. On approach to the objective, she came under heavy fire from the German fighters. Second Lieutenant Frank G. Chaplick's B-17 was heavily hit, two engines on fire, a third damaged, and above all, three crew members killed. The pilot had no choice but to divert to Corsica. Then, in the impossibility of landing on the track of Calvi, it ended up crashing in front of the Citadel. It is still today a very impressive aircraft. 32-meter wingspan, 22 meters long, almost 30 tons fully loaded, 13 machine guns, between 2 and 3 tons of bombs, it also carried 10 crew members. The B-17 still looks great, even with its tail cut off, gutted rear fuselage, and deprived of its nose. The cockpit is also open to the sky, but the seats are still attached and some of the controls in place. Number 1. Black Sea Devil the protagonist of this simple natural history was found dead on May 7th on a beach in Southern California in the protected coastal area of Crystal Cove State Park near Los Angeles. The causes of her death and the reason for her arrival in this area of Orange County, far from the depths that are her natural habitat, are unknown. The images of this mean-looking victim have gone viral around the world, precisely because it's a very unusual case. The experts point out that it's most likely a specimen of the species known scientifically as Melanocenus johnsoni, an abyssal fish that usually lives in waters more than 2,000 meters deep, which is also known as Black Devil. In fact, the species could very well have received the popular name of Black Devil S because, as researchers note, it is the females that have this predatory Luciferian aspect, and not the males. Looking closely, it was discovered, among other morphological oddities, that this totally dark, oval female had something resembling small parasites attached to her scaleless skin. The spots are actually the males of the same species that, being very young, dedicate themselves to sniffing out the females, and when they manage to locate one of them, they embed themselves into her skin to spend the rest of their lives at her expense, thus facilitating the reproduction of the species. It sounds like a bunch of simps to me. As you can see, the ocean is a vast, dark, and mysterious place. The oceans make up the majority of the Earth's surface, and we know so little about what's in them. What about you? Out of all the amazing discoveries listed in this video, which one is your absolute favorite? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!